So it's example four, and it's telling us that 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal. Again, that equals is vital in these questions. P times x plus q all to be squared plus r. And you want us to find all of the values for P, Q, and R. So again, write it out, and we're going to put our equal sign between them. So 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to P times x plus Q all to be squared plus R. Now you can see on the left-hand side, there's nothing to do. It's 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. Um, I can't break that down any further. So I'm going to come to the right-hand side of the equals. Now there's a little bit of work going on here because you can see that I have to multiply it by a P and I also have to square it. So you have to think of your rules of BIMDAS there. So BIMDAS, if you remember your BOMDAS, remember that you have to do brackets first, then indices and indices relate to the powers. So you need to do the squared before you do the multiplying by P because multiplying comes after the power. So what I would do in that example is I would bring in my own brackets here and I put a square bracket or another curled bracket around the P plus Q or sorry, the X plus Q all to be squared. So I'm going to do that section first of all and then multiply my answer by the P. Okay, so bring in those extra set of brackets if needs be. So that's giving me uh, 2X squared plus 5X plus 6 equals P times x plus q squared. x plus q squared basically means x plus q by x plus q. That's what a squared means. So it's x plus q times x plus q. And I close my square bracket. And don't forget, I have to add on that or at the end. I'm now going to multiply out those square brackets. So that's giving me um, first term by second bracket. So x times x plus q and plus q times my second bracket, which is x plus q. Close my square bracket, make sure that that is all being multiplied by p and plus or at the end. And that is all equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 6. I'm just going to continue my next step. Again, always show each step for an examiner in case you make a mistake. Uh, I'm multiplying in these brackets now, x by x and x by q and q by x and q by q. So that's my next step now. So x by x is giving me x squared. Uh, q by x can be written as xq or qx, it's up to you. I'm just putting the x after it because we're trying to find all the values of x. And q by x then in my second bracket also gives me qx. And q by q is q squared. And don't forget, once again, to put your plus or at the end. So that's giving me 2x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to p times, and now I'm just going to group my qx plus my qx, so that's telling me that I have now got two qx's, so it's x squared plus qx plus qx, as I said, is 2qx plus my q squared plus my r. Now I'm going to multiply by that factor of p. I'm now bringing in this P outside. So I'm now multiplying that in. So I'm multiplying it into each of the three terms in my square bracket. So it's P by X squared, which is giving me P X squared. I'm then multiplying the P by the two P, or sorry, P multiplied by two Q X. Some tongue twisters going on here. So that's giving me plus two P Q X. Again, the order of the letters doesn't matter. And then my final step is my P multiplied by the Q squared. So that's giving me plus P Q squared. Don't forget, add in your plus or that's at the end. And that is all equal to 2X squared plus 5X plus 6. Okay, so a bit of work to get to that step. Next thing I'm going to do here is just rearrange that right hand side because if you look at the left hand side, they've put it with the in order. The squared comes first, then the degree of one and then the constant. So I'm just uh, going to make sure that everything is in order and it is. It's PX squared, then it's followed by the X. Now this step can sometimes confuse people. It's written as plus PQ squared. There's no X associated with that pq squared. So that pq squared is a constant. It's a number. 
So don't go rearranging it to bring it over here with the x squared because it doesn't have an x. So now I'm going to solve for uh, p, q and r. So I'm now first of all going to look at my degrees of 2, my x squared. So I'm just going to scroll my screen down here a wee bit. So that's giving me with the 2x squared x squared is equal to uh, px squared so we have x squared is equal to a uh, 2x squared is equal to px squared and if we divide across by x squared, we get p is equal to 2. So that's our first value uh, found. There's our p. Now we're going to come over to our degrees of 1, which is just x to the power of 1, or just our x, which is giving us 5x is equal to 2pq. Now we found the value for p, so we're going to sub that in. So I'm going to divide across by x first of all. So when I cancel my x's, I have 5 is equal to tpq. I'm going to sub in 2 for my p, so I'm drawing a bracket, q, and I'm going to sub in 2 because we found that in the first part. So that is giving me 5 is equal to 4q. And that means then that q is equal to 5 divided by 4, or 1.25. And now we're going to come over and we're going to find our constant. And that is giving us 6 is equal to pq squared plus r. So we're trying to find r in this case. So 6 is equal to p times q squared plus r. I'm going to substitute in my p, which is 2. And I'm going to substitute in my q, which is 5 over 4. And when I work that out, I get 6 is equal to 5 over 4, which is 25 over 16, which is 50 over 16 plus or a little bit of algebra add or subtract 50 over 16 from both sides or move over to 50 over 16 so we get 6 minus 50 over 16 is equal to or so or is equal to 23 over 8 so that's the value for my or and there's our three values we found our p q and or